and they look very, very sharp, particularly the strikers. Whether they continue to do that in a match situation, we are about to find out. I did think they looked very good against Japan, the two up top, and Abby Wambach and Amy Rodriguez. Much better rhythm between the two. Here's Heather O'Reilly. Well read there by Sawa, who'll be well known to fans of American women's soccer. She's played in America. She's very much the star of the Japanese side, the playmaker. She's working better as a tandem up top. Made a couple of changes tonight, Japan. One of the players they've left out is one of their most experienced as well, Kazuhi Ando. And they're giving a run out to uh, Kawasumi, as well as the young lady that you were talking about before the kickoff, Mana Iwabuchi, 18. They think she's a big, big hope. And I think she's already scored against the USA at under 20 level. And, and there has always been a problem for the Japanese with goal scorers and consistent goal scorers. And there's a real hope she's going to solve that problem for them. There she is on the ball right now. Right on cue. Sawa picks it up. That one's played in behind his Ono. Oh and the bounce favored Bueller there. The size. They lack a little bit of tenacity. Their average height is about 5'3". I think they listed as 5'4". I think that's a bit generous, actually, Ian. Here's a corner kick. We're on that basis. The USA should have the advantage. Oh, Solo with the punch. She didn't get all of it, but enough. Problems. And, uh, but she did train fully yesterday, so you'd have to take it that Cox got the, the nod ahead of her here. Yeah, it, it, La Pelvet isn't a familiar left back left-sided player she typically plays in the center so a real debate the world ranking of number four i think whatever else happens they'll be easy on the eye when they're playing this summer with their brand of football they play Ooh, that's solo and oh, it was uh, a nasty moment there in april Sagaguchi playing it forward for the, the fact that Japanese goalkeepers typically aren't strong in the air. That's a battle the US wants to fight. There's a loose ball in midfield. Cross is not a good one. Enough on Saturday with either of those keys. Kawasumi playing on the left hand side. They've moved Miyama to the right for tonight's assignment hand position that's such sad news too for Lindsay Tarpley I mean just fighting back from an ACL tear and she was playing so well that's always such a situation of course a lot of the other players will be thinking please let's not pick up a, an injury this late ball is played in and in the end uh, Ali Krieger got there but the flag was up anyway One thing that the coach has been talking a lot to the players about is making sure there are more completed passes, that there's not too much turnover of possession. In the early stages, there are one or two neat balls being played, but again, possession lost there too cheaply. And the better teams will make you pay for that when you get to the quarterfinals, semifinals of a World Cup. 20 yards out. Trying to create some space for their goalkeeper to come through. Hayari. Again, that ball played in behind for the speedy Ono. It's good covering, but... And their back line presses really high so that there's no space for the United States. But already, even though Amy Rodriguez didn't get through on that, a good opportunity. Kawasumi, lovely ball. Ono is offside. Beautifully picked pass, but Ono had just drifted into an offside position. And that's going to be the challenge for the United States tonight because Japan likes to pull those center backs all over the place. So you see Sauerbrunn stepping forward and Bueller thankfully stayed and kept her line to keep Ono off. But they will be doing that often tonight, going at those center backs. This is. <laughs> I know. I was A night like tonight, I mean, it's 70 degrees. Look at that field. I want to get out there. Put on my boots again. That could be a scary sight, actually, Ian.
They'd have to put a whole medical team on the sideline for that one. I think a lot of the fans here would love to see you playing oh, again. No, that would be tragic. <laughs> <laughs> this old lady out there. Well, a lot of your old teammates were at dinner, weren't they, last night? I know. It was a fun little reunion. Yeah. They're all hovering around North Carolina still. <laughs> Mia Hamm was there, wasn't she? The, by Playmakers. Straight into the wall. And she can pack a punch with her shooting as well. One of the things we always used to talk about on the U.S. team was with any free kick, corner kick, you wanted to either get a goal. Neat play in the middle of the field. They just lack something in both penalty areas. Tepco, Marise, and that club has had to close down because it is very near the... For her visa to clear, but has been training with the breakers. But a sad story, her entire club had to be suspended for the year because TEPCO is the one who runs the nuclear power plant. Put sport in perspective, doesn't it? Sure does. Euler won the header well, and she did it in the opposition penalty area a little while back. Sawashima. Never was going to find its target. A lot of players back defending as a team the USA and he did that win at the weekend over Japan but you were saying to me last night it wouldn't have been so bad if they tasted defeat and, and then... Omari Sawa lovely ball beautifully picked and she's got a few options on this side as well his Oh no, almost set up by Niyama. And there's the youngster just over the bar. And here's what U Iwabuchi brings to this team. Is she's going to face up, given a little window, she's going to face up and crack one. And that is a hard one if that's on frame to save because she's got defenders in front of her, Hope Solo. Hard to get a good clear vision on that one. And here she is again, Iwabuchi. That's a clever little ball off the outside of the boot. Oh no, really does have some pace. That'll be a corner. Now, this is a proper test for the USA tonight. Yeah, come on. Yes, yep, 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 yep. Oh, no, again. Niyama. Another player who's played in the USA in the past. Continues on Sunday morning. Manchester United, the champions, taking on Blackpool, who can escape with a win. That's 10.55 in the morning Eastern on ESPN2 and ESPN3.com. Massive day in the Premier League. Occupational hazard, as you well know. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> That's going to be a booty. There's some finish at the bottom in England, that's for I certain. Know. I know, I'm a little, a little nervous for Wigan. We have some allegiances there for Roberto Martinez. Who worked with us last summer, yeah. Is Iwabuchi again. And then he picked up only but some clever little passing there. Just finding little gaps, picking holes. And Japan have played pretty well here. Kinga getting forward on the right hand side and including the World Cup, she'll reach 100 in the quarter final. Should the USA be in the quarter final, of course. Goalkeeper. And she's brilliant in the last Olympics. Picking up the space again, Iwabuchi is becoming more and more of a factor over the last 10 minutes or so. And the ended work there from the experienced midfield player. That's a very good look by Shannon. Kawasumi on the chase, very quick. And the Krieger, his game has improved enormously from playing in the high standard Bundesliga in Germany. And that will delight the coach. And that was a picture book goal. Just a bit too long for Kawasumi. Japan have played with great enterprise. It's been hard to say, okay, Shannon Box, we want you to hold here. We want you to stay. She had the reins before when Pia came on initially to go and to attack. And so they've kind of... Well, and they've trained through this game. They didn't taper down before the game. Now they went hard yesterday. Whoa. This time one back was helping out the defense as she obviously can do from set pieces. Has looked better. The 
looking for the long ball in behind. Cut out by Sauerbrunn, one of the least experienced, taking the place of uh, Christy Rampone, who's just got a little groin injury at the moment. She hasn't played these two games, but was doing a bit of running yesterday, and I think the word really from inside the camp is she's going to be fine for the World Cup, no problem. Yeah, I think if this was a World Cup game, she'd be in it, but yeah. because it's not, it's like, why risk it? But I must say, Becky Sauerbrunn has has really impressed me. I mean, her her ability to be composed on the ball offensively, I think, is a great asset for the United States. And I still think the outside back position is one Christy Rampone can fill into. You know, so maybe there's a little bit of an answer there. Sakaguchi's long ball. And again, the flag went up. That must have been pretty close at the time the ball was played. Dina is... Little Miyama is deadly with some free kicks. Ask England. She scored twice against England in a 2-2 draw at the last World Cup. With Fumi Ono looking to get in behind again. Oh no! And the flag goes up. She was coming back, I fancy, from an offside position. They've been caught offside a lot, haven't they, here, Japan? I know, and the US has done well to keep their back line pretty much in line, which can be hard against a Japanese team that likes to pull you apart. And especially when you don't have your captain and Christy Rampone leading that back line. Here's uh, Ali Krieger again. Another player hoping to be on the plane for Germany is Heather Mitz, who's had terrible problems with injury. The latest one is a hamstring problem, and she will have to play, and that's what I'm hearing. Good run here from Iwabuchi again, very well watched by the tenacious Bueller. But you can see what happens when the U.S. is able to hold the ball a little bit more. Miyama to Ono, chance here if she's quick enough. Very, very well out and read by Hope Solo. Terrific move though by Japan, wasn't it? Yeah, but, but this is where Hope Solo, and this is the timing you hope she's going to have without playing. Great off her line. That's always been one of her strengths is reading the game and anticipating. And that was good because she, she could have easily been in a 1v1 breakaway situation had she not been so fast off her line. I have to watch Shinobu Ono, who actually made her debut against the USA. Ono with the little layoff. It was all a little tight. Krieger to box. And then Sauerbrunn across. A spark for the U.S. And it's good strong play, really, by Becky Sauerbrunn. That's amazing. When I talked to her, I said, you're going into your fifth World Cup. She goes, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I just wanted to be so special. My first one was at 16. I think she was playing in the top tier in Japan when she was 12. That is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What you call one word a prodigy? Yeah. Oh no, nice and strong. There were runners, including Kinga, the right back again, who's obviously been given license to storm. Although they did have a tornado here, I'm told, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, very scary. It's been quite a, a spring, early summer for that. Iwabuchi, back to Miyama, lovely play. Oh no, still might have a chance here. And to watch though from the Japanese. I mean, look at this technical ability. They find players just running off each other so much. Great little third person sequence with Ono and her first touch just lets her go. Thing for young kids to see, because they play in these triangles. They're always seeking out angles for each other. Oh no, well watched by Sauerbrunn. That's very well played by her. Rapino seems to have something of a of a roving role, swapping with Heather O'Reilly. There's never got into any type of offensive shape. There's uh, a breakdown in the attack from Japan. And three of them have been drawn. Coming up at half-time, Abby Wombach's mission, plus, of course, 
first half analysis. First half here. Darkness is falling. The floodlights beginning to have their effect. Sawashima playing it forward. Not accurately enough. She's got another chance now. Iwabuchi looking to spin. But again, Sauerbrunn, very, very solid. And that's a... Only the second start for Iwabuchi, the teenager, number 20. And just got a touch of the ball there. She was 16 when she scored her first two goals for her country against China. Yes. Re Taipei. It's going to be a minute of added time. Sawafumu. Sawa. Trying to get involved in the middle as Iwabuchi built the attack. That is half time. But typically a center back, and this is the real question mark for the United States, is who's going to be their left back? And so you're seeing Pia Sunhagen is can you learn it and feel comfortable enough to carry that into a, a World Cup environment? Well, on the other side, Krieger has got a central defensive background as well. So there's always the danger that you're just pushing in a little too far and leaving room out to the... Okay. Cap number 166 for her tonight and counting. Might be her last World Cup, but uh, you never say never. When I asked her, you know, how concerned are you about possibly if you don't finish first in your group <laughs> facing Germany, and her answer was classic. She goes, oh, God. That's it. <laughs> so that will tell you something. It's a good incentive to win the. It's Ali Krieger. Iwabuchi. Oh no, ahead of her. Another. Again, they're just looking for that little fall in between the two central defenders. Not delivered quite accurately enough. No, they just see. The pullback was very strong. Kawasumi. And then Sawa feeds it wide. Japan still in the argument here. Ono running the channels. Been outstanding. Kawasumi again. And Hope Solo has to watch it. Lights are just coming on. There is a bit of a glare, so another good test for Hope Solo. And what we said earlier in the show is her first start since shoulder surgery in September. First start since she played at the weekend. Played in both these two games, it was 10 months ago. But she had the very painful shoulder surgery. The good delivery for her to turn home, but at the other end, Ono with the pace. And very well covered by Sauerbrunn, who's been very, very solid back there in the Christy Rampone position. Very reassuring for Pia Sunhaga, the coach, that she has somebody who can come in and play that role if there is a problem. I think the coach always has to think, what if? What if something goes wrong in that position? What if something goes wrong in another position? How am I going to cover it? Sagaguchi. They are a footballing side, Japan. The USA at the start of this second half, no question of sitting on the lead. Makes it a good game. Well, that gets to be a little nerve wracking when you're only 40 days out from a World Cup. ESPN 2's coverage of the Barclays Premier League continues Sunday morning. The climax of the Premier League, the champions Manchester United will get the silverware at home to Blackpool who will stay up if they can win that game 10.55 Sunday morning do not miss that and all the news from elsewhere too to change Ian and here's what Japan they draw in two three defenders push it wide but you're seeing no one from the midfield coming in and joining them they've got one high player in the box against five black shirts one of the keys of the game we talked about at the beginning was getting that midfield line forward and creating numbers. 
Ono, who looks the player most likely to for Japan of the US women's team roster. Trying for perseverance, that. Oh no. After Iwabuchi, USA wondering how they haven't added a second goal. They probably deserved it. This has gone out of play. They have made a substitution as well. Japan bringing on Matayami. And off comes Kobasumi. Is Iwabuchi, the 18-year-old. Not sure who's writing Alex Morgan's scripts. Her first involvement in the game was very nearly a goal. Again, the delivery, not really what just want you to composed defense again by the United States that goal had been coming it's the 29th in the international career of Heather O'Reilly for whom this is a big year she gets some scoring around here as well I think Japan do anything about this started well tonight but just have seemed to run out of ideas. A couple of opportunities that came along weren't taken. Here's Miyamia. Well, again, there, she's not sustaining the pressure she had, like the game against England. Here's Miyamia again. The player who lost four friends in the, by Mariyama. Good run from her, Ando's just ahead of her. Miyama on this side here for Japan. And being forced backwards. USA now with a lot of men, uh, women behind the ball, I should say. Here's uh, Kinga. Might be a hint of a chance here. Determined run, good effort. And tipped over the bar. Been a bit unlucky not to get one, Japan, tonight. And solo at the second attempt in that midfield. They'll need her to be more influential on the big stage in Germany. Nicely curved and very well defended by Ali Krieger, who's strong and athletic. Sugi, wide for Nasu, Miyama, one of the few who have stayed on the pitch for Japan throughout, and here she is now, Miyama, and my intelligence is she's not going to see any action in this particular game, whether she does later on, we shall see, Japan trying to create something again, but again, it all ends in a cul-de-sac, and that's been the story rather too often from their point of view. Something for them to work on. And those are some of the things lingering as a coach that, you know, that, that eat up hours. Utsugi trying to get the cross in. You have the Heather Mitz issue, which we talked about. Now mm. you have the tarpley spot you have to fill. You know, Christy Rampone still out with the, with the groin. And Amy Lapelba just coming back from the ankle and the knee. Miyama, Andu on the near out. And there are the, uh, that's the casualty ward, if you like, for the USA. But here's a chance for Japan and a fine piece of work by Saubrun there to prevent that attack. And then Sawa trying her luck goals for a country so far place of the delightfully named Jeff United <laughs> <laughs> that are physically much stronger Yama bouncing around dangerously in there even Kuma guy the defender the desperate great group in the 
I actually, in Mexico, as we saw in the World Cup qualifiers, is much better, but I would take Japan and England out of that group. Tonight, she might have even had a hat trick on another night, but I know. just the way it works sometimes. And, and knowing her, she's not going to be happy about that, but at least she's getting herself into the positions. Later in the second half, apart from that, just been no end product really. The Japan is Ando. Cut back, but there's nobody there. Loose ball, it's all over. Identical scoreline. 